Hey guys, my name's Steph. Um, I'm excited to say that I'm on Team HG. Uh, I'm gonna be taking you guys throughout my workout today. I'm gonna be squatting and deadlifting. I'm at the end of a training block, so today we have some top singles to, uh, to hit, so I'm pretty excited. So So these are a couple products that I really enjoy in my workouts. This is an Intra HD. Um, I really like taking this and sipping on it throughout my entire workout. It just helps with energy, especially with powerlifting. Our workouts do tend to be a little bit longer. And this is just a kick of caffeine. Um, so I usually take this like 15 minutes or so uh, when I'm warming up before my workout. So this really gets me going and gets me in the zone. So we'll dry scoop this bad boy. I don't know if anyone else dry scoops, but I just want it inside of me. <laughs> So good. It kind of tastes like those rockets that you get, you know, at the at the gas station when you're a kid. And you like beg your mom for those like 60 cent popsicles. That's exactly what it tastes like. I usually put this one in my bigger bottle just because I do like to sip on it. I'm cutting right now, so I find BCAs and all that stuff really like kind of keep my cravings at bay too. One scoop. Half just because then it is a lot of water. I'm gonna be taking, I'm doing a top squat, uh, it's a pause squat. Um, I think it'll be my top set today is 255, so pause squats are a really great way to train uh, sub maximally, so then you're not like maxing it all the time, especially right now, it's in my off season. Um, but I am deadlifting a top single today too, so I plan on taking 315 for a top single. It is not my best, I think it, they're, they're about like 90% or so. Should be a good day. What's my background? Um, so I grew up doing uh, gymnastics. I did gymnastics for the majority of my life. I never competed at like a crazy high level or anything. I just did it for a long time. I started CrossFit, competed in that for maybe just under four years. I had two friends who uh, were really strong. So they always kind of worked out at the back of the CrossFit gym. And obviously they weren't CrossFitters. They uh, just coached every now and then, but they always followed their own program. And then one day they're like, Steph, you should do a meet. I remember they took my, I was like, no, no way guys. Like I'm not strong enough. Classic excuse. Like everyone says that they're not strong enough for their first meet. They took my phone and signed up, signed me up on, on the meet and I did it and I never looked back. Qualified for my first provincials and my first meet. Um, I came second and then I did my first provincials and then I won. So I won that year and I went to my first nationals the following year and then rinse and repeat the cycle in the Sega continues. I made Team Canada this past August, so I had the luck to fly down and do a meet in Costa Rica, which is like my favorite country in the world, and um, I won the 57 kilo division there too, so I'm kind of in between right now, um, deciding what I want to do next, but I can't wait to hit the platform again. So. So for my warm up, um, I usually get to the gym, roll out for a little bit, um, kind of helps with like any areas of soreness. Now I'm at the beginning of my training week, so usually later in the week is when I usually experience some soreness. So I'm feeling pretty good today. Roll out a little bit, do some priming work, usually get the glutes going, with some lunges, maybe some dead bugs, stuff that really promotes like proper bracing. I don't really spend too much time like on the treadmill or anything like that. <laughs> Typical power lifter, I guess. I usually go for like a five, 10 minute walk, maybe um, if I'm feeling really cold, especially in the winter time. Other than that, I don't really waste any time. Get underneath the barbell. Usually take the barbell for a set of eight, um, 135, 185, and then I start working up to my working set for the day. So if I'm usually squatting heavy, um, usually probably take like six, seven sets to get to my top set. Feels good today. So right now, um, I'm on a five day split. So generally for the off season, even like throughout the year, you can train five times a week. I find that really works best for me. So I'm squatting twice. Um, so Monday is my competition style day. Which means what? Um, which usually means like, I'll have my heaviest set of the day. 
um, or the week, sorry. So usually that's like my heavy style. Yeah, so like competition style. And then um, Tuesday's my competition style bench, um, which usually means it's my heaviest bench session of, session of the week. And then Wednesday's my heaviest deadlift session of the week as well. This is ammonia. We use this one. It's just like a little slap in the face, that's all. The last warm up before my top set, so. I feel like sometimes, the thing with powerlifting, um, you need to be able to like turn your brain off and, and just like really focus in on your set. You can't be thinking about the music that's playing or you know, the person who's squatting beside you and ammonia just kind of helps you turn your brain off. <laughs> so, this is my top set, so I'll do it. Um, it's 255 just for a pause single. So um, 303 is my best squat. You know, this is my off season. You're not at peak performance all the time. Just like with bodybuilding, you're not stage ready all the time either. So. So <laughs> we'll do some back offs now. So I'll shed a little bit of weight. Um, just three sets of four. I'll do three sets of four at 225 and then onto deadlifts. So similar to squats, I usually take the barbell, just the empty bar for a few RDLs, load 135, take those on for a few reps. I find for deadlifts, I do really well with like minimal warm ups, just kind of get it done, just so I have more energy for my top set. So that just works for me. I have some clients and some friends who, you know, enjoy a little bit more warm ups in their sets, but I want to do as minimal work as possible. <laughs> I like deadlifting after squats. I feel like your legs are warm and you're already in a groove. Kind of getting hungry though. Like, you know, squats take an hour, sometimes even an hour and a half to get through with a warm up and just getting hungry. <laughs> One of the most exciting parts about being on the team is being able to bring like a strength sport to a very bodybuilding heavy community. And I think there's been a divide between bodybuilding and powerlifting and really every strength sport, CrossFit, whatever. There's always a divide between the two. And I think people are limiting themselves if they are being a part of, you know, being in favor of one style or another. Um, by all means, like one training style is gonna, you know, someone's gonna like a training style more than one another, but I think we, everyone can kind of learn from each other. Like powerlifters can learn from bodybuilders in the sense that not to skip your accessories and, you know, maybe working, having like a strong mind to muscle connection, which a lot of powerlifters lack, especially in control of all their lifts. I think with what separates from a beginner powerlifter to an elite level powerlifter is those who have like a heavy kinesthetic awareness of where their body is moving in space. And a lot of beginner powerlifters kind of just move a barbell from like point A to point B and they're not, you know, necessarily you know, feeling their obliques and feeling their glutes, like spreading forward the feet, they're feeling their quads, they're generating like total body tension to be able to control the lift. So it's not only a powerful lift, but it's a safe lift too. And a lot, bodybuilding does a really good job in being able to teach that to somebody. So, you know, you want to think about the muscle you want to grow, which is a, you know, heavy bodybuilding term. And a good powerlifting program has bodybuilding components in it. A good bodybuilding program has good powerlifting components into it. Like they kind of marry with each other. Like for example, in powerlifting, we arch in our bench press not only so we're able to set our shoulder joints down but it also limit range of motion so you can bench more over time that can a power lifter can develop like a weak upper chest and like front delts and stuff like that which can lead to like pec tears and tendonitis and you know you look at a bodybuilder and they have like really well developed chest so maybe power lifters can take in some deer accessory work and you know maybe do some incline or and stuff like that to help develop your upper chest or like an area of weakness you know everyone has something to learn from each other and you know in the end we're all we're all here for the same reason like we love the barbell we love lifting heavy like we love building muscle I think the divide needs to get out of here
here we go. It's all she wrote, folks. Uh, so we just wrapped up. Um, things felt pretty good today. Um, like I said, I love squatting and deadlifting the same day. Um, touching a barbell, you know, deadlifting on warm legs after squatting just feels really nice. It also, you know, applies to meet day. Um, you squat, then you bench, then you deadlift. You're pretty warm, so. Um, I'm gonna move on to accessories now. Usually for accessories on my lower body days, um, I'll do like one unilateral movement, so like Bulgarian split squats, a lunge variation, something like that to just build up some stability in my hips, my glutes and my quads, and uh, work on single leg strength. Um, and then I'll do like a little bit of hypertrophy work. So um, I find uh, an area of weakness for me are like my hamstrings. Um, my glutes also don't love to generate enough power sometimes, so uh, maybe I'll hit up the leg press, maybe the hip thrust machine, do a couple sets to failure, and that's about it. So, so um, thanks so much for watching you guys, um, you know, you make sure you guys, if you like the video, to like, comment, um, and subscribe. Maybe if you guys have an idea of what you want to see from me, more from a powerlifting perspective, whether it be like nutrition or, you know, more about my training or like take you through an upper body bench day, um, definitely leave a comment below and uh, we'll get that for you guys. So, cheers. <laughs>